Alphabet's robotics arm, Boston Dynamics, has posted a YouTube video of the new version of its Atlas robot, as you're seeing there. It showcases some of the robot's capabilities, but is it ready for prime time? With us now to talk about all that stuff is Max Wolf. He's the chief economist over at Manhattan Venture Partners. And Max, I got to say, the video is pretty staggering. The, the video is unbelievably, at least imaginative, right? It unlocks so many things. There are a lot of robots out there, different designs, different capabilities. What makes this Atlas robot stand out from all the other robots and projects out there? Right, so it's very anthropomorphic. It moves very much in a way that's almost eerily similar to the way a human being, if a slightly stiff human being, would move. It also seems to be situationally aware and adaptive. So it's in one of the sequences, it's kind of walking through an indoor space and then an outdoor space, which includes kind of snow-covered mixed ground. And it's able to dodge the trees and it's able to get its footing when it's a ravine or the snow is a little bit deeper or a little bit shallower. And what it begins to look like is the physical artificial intelligence expression that we've spent a lot of time thinking about and talking about when it comes to pure software AI. It's incredible to see the hardware version of artificial intelligence walking around a little bit like one of us might, but of course without a head. So it's the more sophisticated embodiment right now of artificial intelligence and the actual uh, physical know-how and, and, the, and the adaptability, I guess, of, of robotics overall. So, so Max, what do you end up seeing these robots being used for, and, and what kind of time frame do we, do we have until we see them used perhaps in a little bit more of a commercialized setting? Yeah, so I think we're, we're already probably seeing some use and we're going to see a lot more. My guess is early on we're going to see defense use, law enforcement use, hazardous waste use, and some surgical and medical equipment use. So we kind of already see a much more rudimentary robot used for bomb detection and we see various forms of robots used in many locations. So kind of what you saw there was a self-propelled, to some extent self-propelled, which is interesting, robot doing kind of on the ground what we might be already used to seeing some of the drones do, but necessarily without a remote control operator. So I think we're going to see drone robots. We're going to see a lot of these type of robots probably first in defense, law enforcement, hazardous waste, and hazardous situation handling, because what you're really doing is protecting a human life from grave risk exposure. All right, so Max, let's talk about the, the, the company overall, right? Boston Dynamics, part of this whole Google, which is now owned by Alphabet Empire, right? What might Google investors, Alphabet investors take away from this update, this video? Should they be optimistic and will this have any kind of a real effect down the line on their bottom line? It has a real effect today. So I think Google doesn't always get credit for the fact that for a large company that's as articulated and as specialized as it is in terms of where it makes its money, which is still largely a search story, it's able to be constantly innovative to bring in and to nurture the most creative out there startup type ideas. That's really hard to do in a large company culture. And it's really important for Google's edge that they do, or oh, sorry, Alphabet's edge that they do and continue to do these kind of things, whether it's Project Loon or the XLab projects or these things. So money well spent, even though it's not accretive. On the other hand, when profits are battered, when risk is off in the market, there's usually a huge push to sort of focus on core revenue and profit generating things, probably a while before you see any kind of accretive robot contribution to Alphabet's quarterly earnings. All right, well, until then, I'm going to wait and see if it comes out and says, danger, Will Robinson, danger, <laughs> in the meantime. Thanks, Max Wolf. Thank you so much for joining us there about Alphabet's new robot, the Atlas robot. Thanks for watching here. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.